Hey guys, this is Caesar from Gamer Graphics bringing you uh, another episode of the Swept Blend and how you can use the shell feature to create a uh, different effect. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I had a question from a, a user named uh, BIAN999 on how I would cap the ends. Um, there's two ways you can cap an end. I mean, you can do an, a protrusion and cap the end. But it's going to be kind of difficult with a swept blend uh, to get it to uh, follow where you want it to go. So uh, what I would do is, in this particular, uh, with this particular question is, I'm going to swept blend shell. That's what I'll call it. So I'm going to create a new part. I'm going to make a sketch and. Um, I'm going to make just a random arc. I don't really care. Just a path to sh to, for the example. I'm going to go to Insert, Swept Blend. I'm going to select my path. Up on the top left, it's automatically defaulting to create a surface. Change it to create a solid. Go to Sections. Click one of the green X's. If I zoom in here, you can see there's a little arrow. That's your start point. So I'm going to hit sketch. Now, instead of uh, leaving an open profile like we did before, we're going to create a closed profile. So this one's going to be 100 by 50. Now you'll notice I flipped that arrow down, just a just habit. Uh, make sure that when you do both of your sketches in uh, Sweat Blend that the arrow is pointing the same way. Uh, otherwise it, it won't uh, turn out too well. So I'm going to add my fillets in now. And I'm not really going to constrain this because I really just want to show you guys uh, how, how I'm going to approach this. Okay, so 50, 100, that's fine. Okay, so I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it closed instead of giving, you know, opening the profile up. Uh, and then I'm going to go to Insert, select the uh, the endpoint, hit Sketch, create another rectangle. See, see how this arrow is going uh, to the right. You want to click on the left, click on the dot, on the corner. Hold right click and hit start point and it will automatically go down. Uh, Alright, so I want to make uh, make this one 50 and make this 25. Okay. So I'm going to accept that and you can see my profile. Okay, you can see that it's a solid filled uh, C channel type deal. All right. And uh, I'm going to accept this. So you can see what we have here and you're like, okay, well, how am I going to cap the end? So let's say we want to keep the small end capped and have the big end open and the top open. What I'm going to do is use the shell command over here on the right. As soon as I pick my shell, it automatically shells the interior of this part. So if I hold control and left click onto the surface I want to get rid of, I want to get rid of the top and I want to get rid of this face, the, this big face right here. Now you can see my wall thickness is 6.47. I'm going to just leave that. Actually, change it to 5. And I'm going to hit okay now you'll see that my end is capped right here the only thing you'll have to do uh, on this end is you'll have to uh, add in a blend uh, to finish the end up and you'll have to blend the outside edge as well but that's the quick and easy way to um, 
to add in a capped end on a swept blend uh, that I use anyways. Uh, it gets the job done pretty fast and, and it's easy to edit. You might have a blowout of your fillet if this gets smaller. Um, but it generally if you're just going to add length to this by extending your, 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 your sketch path here, the fillet should be fine. But uh, that would be the only thing to crash. But that's pretty much how I would uh, create a capped end on the C channel using the sweat blend and shell tool. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. And um, if you have any questions or uh, feedback, please feel free to rate and let me know. Thanks.